Hello, I'm Dr. John Eit, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about contraindications to carotid stenting. First, let me say that the role of carotid stenting in the treatment of carotid artery disease remains somewhat uncertain. A recent Society for Vascular Surgery clinical practice guideline published in the Journal of Vascular Surgery in August 2008 recommends against carotid stenting in all but the most limited situations. That is, the symptomatic patient with high-grade stenosis and predicted high perioperative risk based primarily on surgical or anatomic complexity. Anatomic risk factors include prior carotid surgery, prior surgery or radiation for neck cancer, contralateral laryngeal nerve palsy, or tracheostomy. There is a lack of consensus regarding medical contraindications to endarterectomy. In general, patients in other clinical categories should undergo carotid stenting only within the confines of a clinical research protocol. If carotid stenting is considered, there are several factors related directly to the angiographic procedure that represent relative contraindications. These include the inability to take appropriate antiplatelet agents, especially clopidogrel, either due to allergy, noncompliance, or lack of resources, contrast allergy, renal insufficiency, limited iliofemoral or brachial access, and finally, the inability of the patient to lay flat and cooperate. This may be due to advanced cardiopulmonary disease, anxiety, obesity, or even a bad back. With regard to the procedure itself, while there are no absolute contraindications, the following factors have been associated with increased periprocedural risk. Age greater than 80 was initially identified as an independent risk factor in the CREST lead-in patients and has been confirmed in other studies. Age may actually be a marker for other anatomic factors associated with increased risk, including circumferential calcification of the target lesion, ulceration of the target lesion, excessive tortuosity, or the elongated or so-called type 3 aortic arch, and finally excessive aortic arch calcification. Echolucent or homogeneous soft plaque with so-called low grayscale median or GSM has been associated with increased risk of embolization. Finally, most interventionists avoid the following three factors which are the most strict contraindication and these include free floating thrombus, the true string sign with trickle flow, and finally the small ICA less than three millimeters in diameter that's not suitable for filter type cerebral protection devices. As with all surgical procedures, the risks of the procedure must be weighed against the natural history of the condition. At the present time, carotid endarterectomy remains the gold standard for the prevention of stroke in patients with carotid artery disease. This briefing is made possible through a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about your vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.